we're going to learn song number 57, The Snake Charmer. In this song, at the very end of the line, if you notice, it says R-I-T. R-I-T stands for retardando. And what a retardando is, is when you, when every single note, starting where it says R-I-T, every note you play following that is going to gradually slow down until you get to your very last note. If you notice, it's like a hook with a dot on it, bird's eye. It's called a fermata. And that means that you're going to hold that note really, really long, so longer than the actual value of the note. If you're playing by yourself, you can hold it as long as you want. If you're playing with a conductor in front of you, the conductor will tell you how long to play, so that way the whole band cuts off at the same time. But because you're playing by yourself, you can play it as long as you want. So the retardana, you're going to start um, at the regular tempo, but you're going to gradually, every note gets slower and slower and slower until you land on the very last note. And it adds a little drama and excitement to the, um, to the music. It makes it more interesting. So we're going to start at the very beginning and we'll walk through the notes. We have at the very beginning a two eighth note pickup. So we're going to play C, D, E flat, D, C. Let's just play that. One, two, three. Now you're going to play C, D, E flat, G. Let's just do that. Ready? And. Now you're going to slur D to E flat and then play a C. Now you have E flat, F, G. Let's just do that. Ready? And. Now play G, G, slur G to F. Ready? Play. Now you're going to play D, E flat, F. Just do that. Ready? Uh. Now you're going to play F, F, slur F to E flat. Now play C, D, E flat, D, C, just like the very beginning. Ready? Uh. Now, for now, we're just going to go over the notes, and then we'll add the retardando and the fermata. So we have C, D, E flat, G. Let's just play that. Ready? And. Now we're going to slur D to E flat, and then land on a C. Now, let's take that ending part. I'm going to read it again, and we're going to do it retardando. So, if you look at the last notes we have, C, D, E flat, G, D, E flat, C. Now, I'm going to say it where every note gets slower and slower and slower. So we have C, D, E flat, G, D, E flat, C. So it's a little bit more dramatic. Listen to what it should sound like. Ready? And. Let's go back to the very beginning. Let's play through the whole song again. We'll walk through it, but this time at the very end, we're going to add the retardando and the fermata. Here we go. From the very beginning, we have C, D, E flat, D, C. Let's play that. One, two, three. Now we have C, D, E flat, G. Ready? Play. Now we're going to slur D to E flat and then a C. Ready? Uh. Now we have E flat, F, G. Ready? Play. Now we're going to play G, G, slur G to F. Ready? Uh. Now we're going to play D, E, F. Ready? Go. Now we have F, F, slur F to E flat. Ready? Play. Now we have, just like the beginning, C, D, E flat, D, C. Ready? Play. Now I'm going to read the rest of the notes. Remember, every single note is going to get slower and slower and slower until we hold out the very last note we have. C, D, E flat, 
G, then you're gonna slur D to E flat and land on a C. Here we go, ready? And. Great, let's go back to the very beginning. We're gonna play all the way through without stopping. If you notice, the song does say it's on Dante, which is a medium slow tempo. And it also says it's piano, which means that we're gonna be playing soft. Here we go. Great job. I can't wait to hear your recordings.